I hope he doesn't, but I think he will. What's his value? What makes him a good offensive coordinator? See, the problem is a lot of these people that go on social media, oh, he should be the guy for the job. They haven't played there. They're not in the locker room. I've been in the rooms where he's coaching, and he has nothing to do with the pass game at all, right? When the plays are, are designed, that's Andy Reid. LaShawn McCoy recently went after former Kansas City Chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy. That's extremely disappointing that he took that route with it. It sounded personal. It sounded like someone who had, although he was trying to put it as, look, I'm just being honest because I have firsthand experience and I was there and I'm just trying to give it to you straight and be objective. No, it sound person. ESPN's Lewis Riddick rebuked Shady and despised what he said. When you talk about officer coordinators, I can tell you what makes Brian Dayball with the Giants a very, very good coordinator. I can tell you with Andy Reid or Doug Peterson. But when I asked about um, Eric Bieniemy. What makes him good? McCoy's thoughts ruffled the feathers of many, including Patrick Mahomes. More from Riddick. And look, I know everybody in that organization from top to bottom. I know how it ended for Shady in Kansas City. I know what they thought about his skill set and his level when, once they shipped him down the road and he was only there for that one season. I know that Eric Bieniemy is not... Look, Eric Bieniemy is one of those guys who coaches the way we used to be coached mm -hmm. in the 90s, early 2000s which is not the way you can coach players now and or discipline or teach any kid now. Which is to say what? How? He's very old school. Very much so matter of fact. Lou's comments of I know folks in the building gives off the feeling of Shady is not to be trusted in my view. Here's more from McCoy. When we watch the film of practices and we correct the, the, the wide receivers, the running backs, the, the quarterbacks, he doesn't talk in there. Andy Reid really talks in there. Hmm. He may say things to the running back because he's an ex-running back coach. I get that. But he has no real responsibility now you go from the chiefs where you can hide behind Patrick Mahomes Andy Reid then you, then you go to the, the Washington where you got to call plays you got to run the meetings you got to run the installs it didn't work it, it wasn't it wasn't a very comfortable relationship between those two and it wasn't a comfortable relationship between Shady and Kansas City when it ended there because they basically told him you're not that good anymore you're not the same guy as you were in Buffalo and in Philadelphia when we drafted you and the last issue I have with him is what makes Andy Reid so great, not the call, the, the play calls, which we see that, which, I mean, that's one of it. But the other thing is, like, adapting to the players. Well, the enemy, he's my first practice. I couldn't believe it. He's dog coaching. He's dog cussing the players. I'm like, and not just the regular players, Kelsey. As far as his leadership ability and his ability to hold people count, accountable in a day and age where I think that is something that is quite honestly lacking, he will do that. He, If you want a guy who you expect to – really just kind of reward you for just participating, he's not your guy. If you want a guy who, when you earn it, he's going to give it to you, and then he's going to still hold you accountable, he's your guy. Tell me Washington doesn't need exactly that. The people who I trust say that this guy will be a fantastic head coach when given the opportunity, but you better understand this. You're going to get a certain brand and a certain style of coaching that maybe some people don't necessarily like as far as being very brash, upfront, in your face, honest about how he feels you need to conduct your business. If you want someone who's going to sugarcoat everything for you and kind of pat you on the rear end and give you a participation trophy, go somewhere else. This isn't your guy. Riddick, who many view as a fair and objective voice in sports media and has served in the front office for the Eagles and Commanders, really took hold of this conversation. If I got to do my job, to be honest, my thing is just where is the true value at? One of the things Shady brought up was play calling. This argument is so drawn out. It's tiring at this point. Two guys who I consider very good friends in this profession. Doug Peterson, Matt Nagy. Very good friends. You could call them right now, they'll pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. Got jobs after working for Andy Reid yeah. and not being the primary play caller. That, that's a good thing, not a bad thing. Exactly. Unless you're Eric Bieniemy. Exactly. Yeah. Most yeah. times people go, well, you worked under Andy Reid, certified first ballot Hall of Famer, offensive whiz. You probably learned a lot. You've learned. A and Andy doesn't just tell you, doesn't just teach you X's and O's. He teaches how to set up an organization. Yeah. Like you would, I would want to draw as many people from that organization as possible. So I'll let Riddick say it. Here's who else hated Shady's thoughts. Former Chiefs great Jamal Charles. He'd write on Twitter, I have to disagree with you, Shady. The enemy coached me for years. I learned so many things from EB. And I still keep in contact with him. A great husband and father. He deserves to be a head coach. 
Another former chief, Tyreek Hill, cheetah, currently with the Dolphins, spilled it. Shady's mad. The enemy told him to tuck the ball with a laughing emoji. NFL insider Mike Florio would tell 93.7 the fan, it's personal. He's got sour grapes. He's mad about his experience in Kansas City. The fact that multiple other receivers have come out and refuted him, I think says everything. I agree with that. The fact that Tyreek Hill, who's disgruntled about the way things ended in Kansas City, is on the enemy's side in this is also very telling. Second that. The MVP would stick up for his now former offensive coordinator. There should be no questions on how great of a man slash coach B enemy is. His leadership has a direct impact on the player slash person I am today. 10 plus years learning under one of the greatest coaches of all time, and I cannot wait for him to continue to prove doubters wrong. The Honey Badger, Teron Matthew, great interview, by the way. Would note to Shady, man, you blinked up with it. Former Chiefs guard Jeff Allen was among those who retweeted the Honey Badger's tweet, while former Chief safety Ron Parker also took issue with McCoy. When asked about all this, the enemy took the high road. LaShawn McCoy is a future Hall of Famer. Everybody's entitled to their own position, to their own comments, and how they feel. When it's all said and done with, I think that's all I have to say because he's entitled to his opinion. That's life.